Welcome to Living in Grand Rapids, the podcast. I am Josh May. I am Katie Arnold. I am Leah Hills. And we are three of the May Group Realtors with Remax of Grand Rapids. We are super excited. We've been talking about this for months, starting a podcast called Living in Grand Rapids. We love this community. We feel like there's so much to offer. We would just want to talk about what's happening in Grand Rapids, sprinkle a little real estate in and give the listeners some ideas of how they can be involved in the community. So ladies, what do we got first on the docket? Yeah, well, we thought we would start by just introducing everyone to our whole team at May Group Realtors. So Josh, how about we kick it off with you as the lead of our team? Okay, okay. I'm always excited to share my story. So this is a this is an interesting road. So um, I have essentially spent half my life in real estate. And I love saying that you guys are always laughing at me because I'm like 20 years, but I'm in the year business for 21 years, but it's really 20 years that I've been in the business. And I want to go way back to a time where I was in fourth grade. Oh and boy. I, was, I was the champion of my elementary school geography beat. Okay. And I don't even know if you guys knew that. Did you know that? No. Okay. No. So fourth grade geography has always stuck with me. I've loved everything geography. I've loved traveling. And when I got into college, I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with my life? You know, I, I, was, I didn't know what I was going to study. And I went back and just realized how much I loved, you know, land use and, and uh, cities and planning and just understanding things. So I decided to get my degree in geography with an emphasis in city and regional planning. So I was convinced that I was going to work at City Hall in Grand Rapids and, uh, you know, start an entry level position and maybe someday work my way up into, you know, city management type of position. I thought that's where I was going. And then my first internship came along. And my first internship was, believe it or not, at Remax uh, Commercial, a real estate firm in here in Grand Rapids. So this was when I was a junior in college, I was um, introduced to real estate and I was introduced to commercial real estate, which I always tell people, it was amazing to be involved in the commercial side of things first before residential, because you really got to learn to kind of think like an attorney that all of the finer details that we need to understand about real estate was ingrained in me uh, early in my career. I got my real estate license while I was in college and then when I graduated, I had some decisions to make, either move into public policy or stay in real estate. And I decided to stay in real estate, but move over the residential side of things. And the rest is history. So that is a little backstory on me. What do you think? That's great. And here we are 20 years later. Here we are 21, 20 years later. Um, okay. So Katie, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I, my background is actually in the music industry, so it had nothing to do with real estate by any means, but I kind of landed upon this team doing some marketing and then took over transaction management three years ago now. So I always kind of think of working with all the agents, just like, you know, the same idea of working with bands and kind of trying to gather together all the different personalities and energy and everything that you guys have going on is just like managing a band. So I've been with you guys for three years and it's been great. It's been amazing. And you know what? I mean, you got, we got a lot of unique, interesting personalities. So like you, you have some serious understanding of how to deal with just different people at different levels from the, from your background dealing with, I mean, there was probably some pretty I don't want to say interesting, but strong, unique, have all sorts of personalities. And that's definitely translated over, right? Absolutely. 100%. Leah, tell us about you and how you got started with our team. Um, I am somewhat brand new to the team. I am five months in. Um, the wonderful pandemic made me think a little bit more about life and what I wanted to do. And um I came across you guys. So um, I do a little bit of photography. I love hiking. And then I 
do marketing for um, myself, but other people. And then that's kind of what got me started with you guys and transitioned into a client care coordinator, which was great. It's awesome. I get to talk with clients. I get to visit with clients and um, it's a wonderful experience meeting new people, meeting new co-workers and it's been an awesome experience so far so nice you liking it so far five months in yes <laughs> feeling good now josh you have to tell us what would you say because we called the podcast living in grand rapids for a reason so what is one of your favorite things or a couple of your favorite things about living in grand rapids okay so this is a good one. You know, I could take I could take the the uh, you know the statement of philanthropy. The, you know, the city's uh, full of philanthropists. I mean, everybody uses that one, right? I'm going to go back to something that I actually find really interesting about this city, and I've always found it interesting about this city. And we let it off with geography and me nerding out on the geography part. I actually really enjoy the geography of the city and how easy it is to get around from place to place. You know, we're very low uh, as far as traffic goes. I rarely am in like high traffic situations. It seems like when I leave my office or when I leave my house, I can get anywhere I need to be within like 10 minutes. And for me doing that for 20 years and having an appreciation for how this city's laid out. I mean, you've got all the major freeways going right through the middle of the city. We're divided into four corners. We kind of spread out from there. And then, you know, even, even on top of that, like the proximity to everything else in West Michigan, like I, I think it's so cool that we can live in the uh, second largest metropolitan area in Michigan, but then be a 30 minute drive to the lake shore. You can get up to Northern Michigan quickly. You can get to Detroit relatively quickly. You can go to Chicago relatively quickly. So I love the geography and the ease and proximity that Grand Rapids has to offer. So that is the geography, geography answer. Like I said, I could have went a number of ways, community, philanthropy, but let's talk geography. So how about you, Katie? What do you think? Uh, well, for me, it's actually very similar. I would, I love the fact that with Grand Rapids, you can get that city vibe if you want it, or you can drive five minutes and you got more of the suburb feel, or if you want to go explore nature, it is really just a short drive away. So you have access to that nature feel and the city feel all so very close. So that's, we're definitely on the same page with that, Josh. I love it. I love it. Leah, what do you got? Um, well, since living, I actually lived in Detroit. So coming back to West Michigan, Grand Rapids, um, I actually love how much Grand Rapids has grown, um, not only as a city, but just like people wise, yes, but also just Grand Rapids is learning and getting more and more out there with all the restaurants, all the just trying new things all over again. And it's great to see that they're willing to accept new new things like in like bigger cities like Detroit and then Grand Rapids is trying to like catch on to those things too so it's just awesome to see that Grand Rapids is growing uh, people wise and everyone wants to come to Grand Rapids obviously we're, we're in the business so you know Grand Rapids is super popular so yeah feels good to be living in Grand Rapids absolutely so let's go ahead and introduce everyone to the rest of the team. We now have Ross Bacon joining us today. Thank you so much for doing this. If you could tell us a little bit about yourself and why and how you got into a real estate agent. Yes, of course. Thanks for having me, of course. And my, my name is Ross Bacon. I'm with the uh, May Group Realtors. And I've been in the business for about eight years now. Uh, I actually started out working for Josh as a marketing assistant for about a year. Um, but I've always had an interest in becoming, getting licensed, uh, even during my college years too. Uh, I started purchasing investment properties and um, kind of building my rental portfolio. So it just kind of made sense that the next step was going to be to become licensed. Um, I didn't really know where I wanted to take it when I got licensed, but uh, eight years into it, I, it turns out I love what I do. I love working with the clients. 
So I stuck with it all this time and uh, just continuing to buy and sell homes and helping people find their next home. No, that's awesome. Yes. I didn't know that you were starting out as a marketing person for Josh. So new story. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fun, fun, funny story is we, we actually met on Craigslist is what we tell people. So uh, it, it was the job posting, but uh, it was a really funny story to tell people that that is where uh, Josh and I met uh, when he was looking for a marketing assistant. No, that's awesome. Yes. <laughs> um, and then one more question. If you could tell us one of your favorite places or things you like about living in Grand Rapids. Uh, favorite places. I love just kind of browsing around Midtown. Um, I love Midtown. Buffalo Traders is probably one of my favorite, uh, you know, cocktail lounges here in town. Just that area in general, it's been really fun to see that area turn around and what's, you know, progress since I've moved here um, in 2012. So it's been really cool to see what's been going on at that area. New restaurants, new bars popping up. The farmer's market's fantastic. So uh, I like to kind of go down there on the weekends and walk around and popping in and out of places. Love a good farmer's market. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today and telling us about yourself. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Hey, Abby, thanks for joining us for the podcast today. Can hey, you? Thanks for having me. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been in real estate, what got you into real estate? Yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm Abby. I'm originally from Traverse City, Michigan. Uh, but moved down to Grand Rapids maybe six years ago now to go to school at Grand Valley. Um, after Grand Valley, I got a great opportunity to work here with the May Group Realtors at Remax, um, and I've just loved it. Yeah, I've been in real estate for two and a half years. The half is very important, um, but yeah, just loving the industry, loving the area, um, and yeah, just loving it here. Awesome. Yeah. And what a lot of people don't know is you actually got to start with our team as a marketing intern. You helped us with marketing and really kind of pushing the needle forward like we try to do with our marketing. And then you became a licensed agent, which has been so cool to see you kind of evolve and grow within our team. Really nice. Yeah. It was so great to learn, you know, from you guys on the back end of things and um, learn more about the industry, you know, behind the scenes before jumping in full force as a licensed agent. So yeah, really grateful for the opportunity. Cool. And Abby, what would you say is one of your favorite things about living in Grand Rapids since that's the title oh of our show? Yeah, so many things. I was really trying to nail down like one to two things. It's really difficult. Um, but I think just the main thing is that we have this small city, small town feel similar to my hometown of Traverse City. Um, however, we have all these big city amenities, amazing foodie culture, great restaurants, um, great concert, great music scene. Um, and just great community too. Everyone is super supportive, really welcoming. And yeah, I've just been fortunate enough to make a great community here. Awesome. Yeah. Those are definitely some great, great aspects of Grand Rapids. Just I a can. few. Just a few. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, Abby. I'm sure we will see you or hear you on the podcast again in the future. Awesome. Thank you guys. Well, we are joined now by Scott Bradford. Scott, thanks for joining us on the podcast today. Can you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? What got you into real estate? How long you've been an agent? All that good stuff. I can do that. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, you guys. My first podcast ever. Uh, I was asked by a mortgage broker in 2003 if I wanted to become a uh, real estate appraiser. They thought it would be really cool if I did it. And uh, by 2004, I, I took the classes and 2005, I, I had my license and, and I was a real estate appraiser from 2005 uh, to 2009. So I was a limited real estate appraiser. Well, you've been an agent now for what, like eight years? Yes. Is that right? I got my real estate license in two th August, 2013. So I joined uh, Josh's team. I, me and Josh, uh, me and Ross kind of argue who was the first one to join the team. And technically it was Ross and, but I was the first uh, licensed agent that, that joined the May group. 
Awesome. And Scott, what would you say is your favorite or one of your favorite things about living in Grand Rapids? Well, I'm not just going to give you one because that would be really boring. So I'm going to give you a couple. All right. <laughs> number, number one, I love how I can get anywhere in the city very quickly. It's a, it's a very uh, easy town to, to, to get through. It's got the small town feel. Um, it's a clean city. Uh, it's very walkable. We got amazing restaurants. Uh, I still live in the city. I, I love it. And um, it's just a great place for me to be. Yeah. Well, you're not alone in being able to keep it at only one thing that you love about Grand Rapids. So yes. Yeah. Well, my favorite restaurant, you know, I don't get to enough, but it is Tara. That's my favorite restaurant. I love to just one. sit in there more often, but uh, they only open up at four most times. So I'm more of an afternoon type of guy. <laughs> well, Scott, thank you for joining us on the podcast. And I'm sure everyone will get to hear more from you again in the future. All right. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to episode one of Living in Grand Rapids. We're really excited about some of the great content we've got coming at you for the rest of the year and beyond. We have some great things lined up, so stay tuned to see what we have in store. And now we will let you all get back to living in Grand Rapids.